Hi guys, so in today's video I thought I would do another challenge because I haven't done a makeup challenge in a while and a couple of you guys have been asking me to do this. I saw um, Shani Grimmond do this the other day. Um, uh, I'm not sh too sure who originally started it but like just know this is not my original idea. Obviously it's been a thing on YouTube for quite a few months now and it is doing your makeup with only one brush. So if you want to see what my face ends up like then just keep watching. Let's just cut to my actual face. Okay, so my brush of choice is this one, and this is the Real Techniques setting brush. And I believe you can get this individually, and I think I got this in part of like a contouring set or something. I normally use this brush for highlighter, but today I'm gonna be using it for my entire face. So let's just get straight into it. I'm using my L'Oreal Infallible 24 Hour Foundation, which I haven't used in ages, so I thought I would use it today. Just putting some of this on my face. And then I'm just taking my little brush and blending it in. Oh my goodness, this is gonna take forever. Oh my god, it's so streaky looking. Let's try and stipple it maybe. Oh my god, this is literally so streaky. It's actually really hard work. Like I'm having to blend so much that my wrist is hurting. Ow, this is actually really hurting my hand. Lovely, nice, smooth, even, streak-free coverage. Okay, so now that I've blended to the point where my hand wants to like snap off, I'm now going to move on to my concealer and full concealer today I'm going to use the Essence Full Coverage Concealer which I used in a video the other day. I'm just going to give this another go. Sorry if my face is a bit overexposed from this side, it's because the sun is out. Oh, the sun's just gone back in. Nope, it's come back out again. England. <laughs> okay, let's do this. I often see people use this brush for concealer, but like honestly I don't understand how because for me this just makes my makeup look so streaky. Oh god, I just got it in my eye. I actually can't see out of this eye now. I've got the concealer like stuck all over my contact lens. It just like, it's not blending things properly. Like, especially around my nose. <laughs> I actually want to do a bit of cream contouring today. One second. Okay, so I'm going to do a bit of cream contouring, which is very rare for me, but I thought I may as well. Um, this is the Makeup Revolution Ultra Pro HD Cream Contour Kit. I nearly said cream contour shit. Cream contour kit in the shade Fair. Um, and I'm just going to take this colour here because it looks quite cool toned. Do that, and then blend it. Oh god, I've put too much on. <laughs> that is a really good colour, but I put way too much on. Let's use the pale colour to kind of try and dull it down a bit. Mmm, not bad. Let's use a bit of the warmer one around my hairline. Then the next stage is powder. I'm using my RCMA No Color Powder, but it's in my like different container. Oopsies. And set all of that makeup. Oh my god, this is gonna take forever. <laughs> oh. I've literally just, I did a big swirl in my powder and I flicked it all over my pajama bottoms. Yes, I'm filming in pajama bottoms. Life of a YouTuber. Next, I am going to contour. Wait, did I even bring anything over to contour with? Next, I'm going to contour slash bronze using... Ow, that just closed on my finger. <laughs> using my Freedom Pro Strobe Palette. This is the powder one, and I use this colour down here, which I've nearly hit pan on, actually. I'm just going to do a little bit of contouring. I want to put some blush on, but the only one that I have in my makeup bag that I brought over here, because this is all like my travel makeup bag from going away for the weekend, is this blush in the Makeup Revolution Ultra Sculpt and Contour Kit. Then for highlighter, I'm taking my Lottie London Shimmer Squad in the shade The Good Girl, which is this pinky one. This highlighter palette is amazing. This brush is actually really good for highlighting, like I use it for highlighter on a normal basis. I have Heart Makeup Salted Caramel Palette, which looks like this. It's got like the chocolate on the front. I kind of want to eat it. And I'm going to use this massive brush. So I'm going in with the kind of orangey colour as my transition shade. Oh my god. <laughs> and then I'm going to run this along my lower lash line. 
so far it's not going too badly, but I need to add some darker colors now. Okay, so for the darker color, I'm gonna take this brown, and I'm just putting that on the outer corner. Or apparently my whole eyelid. <laughs> I'm running that along my lower lash line. Uh oh. Mm -hmm. Let's use a bit more of that brown. I'm trying to do a smoky eye here. Then, for my shimmery colour, I'm going to take this gold. Wait, am I even in focus? I feel like I'm not. For the shimmery colour, I'm taking this gold colour down here. I have no idea how this is going to work. Let's just sweep some of that on. Trying to kind of flatten the brush. That sort of worked. Let's do the same. Then on my inner corners, I'm gonna use this color here. Okay, so there is the eyeshadow done. I think that could have gone a lot worse. I'm actually pretty impressed with how I managed to make something that looks semi-decent with this massive brush. Okay, so I'm then gonna do brows. Help. I'm using the Freedom Duo Brow Powder in Ash Brown and I'm taking the color on this side and Let's just give this a go. Oh god. Beautiful. Oh my god, that's literally gone everywhere. <laughs> that is probably about the best I can do with those. Right, I'm just gonna put some mascara on. I mean, this is technically a brush, but I've seen other people use it in these videos. Okay, then the final step is lips. So, I'm taking my brush and I'm taking my NYX Liquid Suede in the shade Sandstorm and I guess I'm just gonna paint this on my lips. Oh no. Oh my god, this is so difficult. Okay. I think that's about as good as I'm gonna get. So this is my face. Overall, I'm actually quite impressed. Like, the base looks fine, I think. It's just like the eyebrows and the lips that were the hardest. Like, I think the rest of it actually looks okay. Like, I'm actually pretty impressed. I did not think I was gonna be able to do decent eyeshadow with a brush this big, but it actually kind of worked. And then my lips are just like, Oh dear. So that is it for this makeup challenge. I actually am quite impressed with how well I managed to do. I mean, my eyebrows and my lips are looking a little bit funky, but the rest is actually not too bad. So this brush has done me well. If you're interested in buying this brush, I will link it down below. It's a great little multitasker, apparently. If you're new to my channel and you have enjoyed this video, um, I post on Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. I do a bunch of like drugstore related videos and like hauls and all of that jazz. So yeah, I would love it if you subscribe. If you aren't already a subscriber, and yes, I hope you're having a great, what day is it today? Wednesday, I think. And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.